So, Titleist MB Forge 712 hitting up against the TaylorMade MB Forge. This is the same club, different companies. Let's give them a hit, see which one's better or worse, um, and see which one might help your golf. Let's get stuck in, see what they're all about. Right guys, we've got the MB Forged, one from Titleist, one from TaylorMade. We're going to give these two bladed better player irons a hit and show you what I think about the two clubs which are aimed at your better players. So, look, first thing's putting down by the balls. Um, they're both MB Forged, they're quite the same really. Uh, maybe a fraction thinner top line on the TaylorMade. Um, offset. Uh, they're both MB4, so they're about the same, really. Um, you've got a white satin finish on the tight list to a more chrome finish on the TaylorMade. Um, let's give them a hit. You've got a tuning port in the back of the TaylorMade, but if you're buying it, the club for that, I wouldn't be sorry. Everyone can swing weight their clubs. That's just a little gimmick to make them sound like they're swing weight in the clubs better, I would say. But anyway, let's give them a hit. Tight list C, uh, MB Forge to start us off. So this is a very good looking squat little head bladed club. Satin finish is fine. I do actually quite like the chrome, but satin finish is nice. Let's give it a hit. See how soft this club feels. Here we go. So it's a really true launch, which you'd expect from a, a blade going forwards. No particular over height kind of shot. It feels soft, feels solid off the face. With either of these clubs, you've got to be striking the ball. You've got to be confident with your, have confidence with your strike to really take these and uh, enjoy using them. It does feel very, very nice. Like I say, it's a lovely fight, flight. I do worry for me using a long iron in these clubs. I ain't going to get much out of it. Um, I would probably be combo setting them for me if I was going for these. But the uh, tight list here, the uh, MB4 does look very good. And you know if you've got a tight list club in your bag, you're going to get instant level of respect at golf club level because it's such a recognised brand. Here we go, one more. Slightly pulled that one, but feels good. So, very true flight, as you expect, classic look. So let's try it up against the TaylorMade MB Forge, so the same club in effect. Putting it down by the ball, like I say, it feels almost the same as that, just a slightly more chromey finish. Let's give it a hit, see how it feels. Similar flight, fraction higher on that one, but me more than the club, I would say. Let's give it another go. It feels soft, you know, it's a Forge club, it's gonna feel soft. Um, these two clubs are made so much to the brief, or the same brief, if you like. It feels good. I mean, it's. I don't reckon you could actually tell the difference if you blindfolded people with these two clubs, people who could strike the ball. I just don't think you'd feel it. In the feel of the club, you can't... There's nothing for me. There's no difference. It really is. I mean, I can't pick a pick a winner for me there. I like them both. I put maybe a fraction more on the tailor made. I like the chrome finish over that white satin, but that's, I mean, that's a colour. I'm choosing that over a colour, you know. Green better than blue. I mean, you know, colours is personal preference, isn't it? So both of those clubs filling the same brief and successfully doing it. Good, well-made, honest iron is going to give you a a nice forward flight with no frills launch so you need to do all the work yourself as you'd expect from a blade and both of them feel very nice and soft and controllable so the, the word workable both of these clubs are workable that's debatable i'm going to do a video on that soon i've done one in the past talking about what that actually means but it's a true flight with these so what you put in you will get out the other end you ain't going to get anything ballooning up in the air or get any kind of hot spots on the clubs that shoot the ball a bit further than it should go. So two very honest clubs. Let me know what you think, guys. Is it the tightest for you or is it the tailor made? Let me know, post comments. Always love to hear what you've got to say. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, 
find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.